fact of the day. Fact of the Hello, day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Marlo C. So today's fact, we're starting off with goats. If you're thinking of choosing between goat's milk and cow's milk, let me give you a quick rundown. Goat's milk is lower in fat. Goat's milk contains fewer of the proteins which cause allergies and goat's milk is better tolerated by people who are lactose intolerant. More people globally drink goat's milk than cow's milk, if you didn't know. Have you ever seen those videos of the goats which fall over? They, they kind of freeze and they fall over. That's a condition called myotonic dystrophy, and it's caused by paralysis. So what happens is the muscles contract, but they then can't relax for a few seconds, and because they can't relax for a few seconds, they fall over. And this is, is actually painful, you know, harmful for the poor goats, because one, they're in panic, that's why their muscles contract, and two, they're falling over and, and damaging themselves. Myotonic dystrophy can also occur in human beings. It's caused by genes, so it's inherited, and you can have either dominant or recessive genes. If you have, if it's recessive, caused by recessive genes, then it causes paralysis in your legs. If it's caused by dominant genes, cause paralysis in your face, and in your hands. For kids, if kids have it, congenital, which means from birth, then it means that they are prone to falling over due to this condition. And in adults, it's less prone to falling over, but you still need a bit of time to rest and recuperate. So that is myo myogenic dystrophy. That's fact today from me. If someone shows you a video of these goats, please just remind them it's actually not very nice for the poor goats. That's it from me. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Love you, bye.